In this video, I will cover the proper method of taking a water sample to satisfy the water testing requirements for good agricultural practices, or GAPS. First, call around to find an inexpensive water testing lab. We have a list of local labs on the Maryland Department of Agriculture's Food Safety website. If you are testing water for irrigation or pesticide application, ask for a quantitative or numerical E. coli test. If you are getting water tested for drinking water or post-harvest use, ask for a potable water test. The water testing lab will supply you with a sterile bottle for taking the water sample. When taking your water sample, wear disposable gloves if you have them. If you do not, just take care that you do not touch the inside of the bottle or the lid. When sampling a pond, try to take the water sample near the intake pipe. Swish around the water layers with the bottle and take care not to disturb the pond sediment. When you fill the bottle to the line, carefully close the lid. When sampling a well, let the water run for three to five minutes before taking the sample. Do not let the bottle touch the water nozzle or faucet and again, fill it up to the line. After your water sample is taken, immediately mail the sample or drop it off at the lab. If you need to wait before taking the sample, please refrigerate it. We are testing for living bacteria and high temperatures and long storage times can give false results. Many labs have a mandatory time frame that the sample must be returned within. If you have any questions on water sampling or water result interpretation, please contact your representative from University of Maryland Extension or the Quality Assurance Office at the Maryland Department of Agriculture.